as we've seen, different z-scores are associated with different amounts under this curve between, say, the mean of the distribution and a particular z-score. One useful heuristic to use is something called the 50-34-14 rule. 50-34-14. What this means is that with a z-score of 0, 50% of this distribution lies to the left of 0, and 50% of the distribution lies to the right of 0. For a z-score of 1, if we plot it right here, 34% of the distribution lies between the mean and the z-score of 1. In other words, this shaded region right here. And lastly, for a z-score of 2, 14% of the distribution is captured between a z-score of 1 and 2. Now, because this is a normal distribution and it's perfectly symmetric, the same thing holds for negative z-scores. So, for example, between a z-score of negative 1 and 0 also lies 34% of this entire area of the distribution. And between a z-score of negative 1 and negative 2, this region right here, lies also 14% of the distribution.